welcome to my kitchen and welcome to The Recipe Therapist. On today's episode, I'm very excited because I'm going to be doing an Easter collaboration with my girlfriend Anne over from her channel called Anne's Family Recipe. And Anne happens to be an enthusiastic home cook. She's a wife and a mother of four. She shares great family recipes on her channel and she also does some product reviews and even some grocery hauls. And today, Ann and I are sharing two different Easter breakfast casseroles for you. I'm gonna be doing a French toast casserole with a praline topping, and Ann's gonna be sharing a hot cross bun monkey bread. That sounds so delicious. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so delicious. I cannot wait to see this recipe. After watching my video, be sure to check her channel out, which I'm gonna leave a link in my description box below, and also the link to the recipe, to see how she makes that delicious monkey bread. So, let's get started. What I love most about this recipe is that for years, I've been making it with challah bread. Now, if you can't find challah bread for this recipe, you can use regular rolls, or even a French loaf, or an Italian bread, um, but it really does work best with challah bread. So, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna cut these rolls half inch thick pieces because what we want to do is fill this buttered uh, 9 by 13 pan the whole base with the bread so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the rest of these rolls and then we're going to fill our casserole dish So this is what the casserole dish should look like. You see how it's nice and filled from rim to rim? And this is perfect. So I wound up using five rolls, so that was perfect for this nine by 13 pan. And now we're gonna make the filling part of the bread. So what I did was I took 10 eggs and I had them in my nice bowl here. So all I'm gonna do is add these ingredients to the bowl. So I'm going to be using three cups of half and half. So I'm gonna pour that right in. Okay, and this is such a creamy recipe. And I have three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, I mean, you gotta have vanilla in a French toast casserole, one teaspoon of salt, okay, get that all out. Now, I have a teaspoon of cinnamon, and I have a half a teaspoon of some ground nutmeg. Now, if you didn't have these spices on hand and you just had like pumpkin pie spice you could also add that in as well so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to whisk this together okay until it's all well combined and we're going to come back and we're going to pour it right into our casserole dish this bread is looking so good it smells so good. You can see that nice custardy filling is in there. Now, this bread has to sit overnight in the refrigerator. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my plastic wrap right here and I'm going to cover the whole thing, okay? And overnight, the bread is going to absorb all that filling. And then tomorrow, we're gonna to come back and we're gonna make that delicious cream cheese and butter praline topping. And it's gonna be so delicious. casserole out of the refrigerator. It's been soaking up that egg mixture all night. It 
it's looking perfect and I preheated my oven to 350 degrees. So now I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that praline topping. Let me show you what I put into it. I have about one cup of brown sugar here and I took out one stick of salted butter and eight ounces of cream cheese early this morning so that it's room temperature. I chopped up about three quarters of a cup of fresh pecans and I saved some whole ones for the top. I'm gonna to garnish uh, this casserole dish with. I'm gonna use some salt in it and I have one teaspoon of some pumpkin pie spice. If you don't have that, you can just swap it out for cinnamon. And then we're going to put two teaspoons of some maple syrup and it's gonna be so good. So this is really easy guys. Basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add everything into this bowl. So I have my butter and my cream cheese. I have my nuts going in and my brown sugar. All right, I'm probably gonna put like a half a teaspoon of salt because these nuts were not salted uh, incidentally, you can switch up the nuts for any one that you like, obviously. And then I'm going to add my pumpkin pie spice. And lastly, I'm going to add my maple syrup. Now, because I have the butter and the cream cheese softened, I'm just gonna take this nice wooden like spoon here and I'm just gonna begin to mash it all together until it all comes together. And then we're gonna put it right on top of that casserole. Just finished mixing my delicious praline topping, and this is exactly what it's supposed to look like. So now what we have to do is take this topping, I have a spoon ready, and we're basically gonna go and put it right in between, you know, the layers of the bread, okay? And I have my oven, like I said before, preheated to 350 degrees, and this is gonna go bake off in that oven for about 40 to 50 minutes, it's gonna be nice and golden brown on top and bubbly, and then we're gonna take it out and we're gonna take a taste. for about 40 minutes exactly and let's take a look at it oh my goodness wow that looks absolutely perfect do you see how nice and golden brown it is on top the praline is melted those nuts are nice and crispy so i'm going to take this out i'm going to let it cool off and then we are going to get ready to take a taste so look at this french toast casserole it's been cooling off for about 15 minutes I put some delicious powdered sugar on top, and now I'm ready to go in and take a taste. So I've got my hearty spatula here, and this is looking so incredibly good. It's still kind of warm, and you can see that praline um, topping is like ooey and gooey. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. But it's held up together really, really nicely, and now, what I did was I took some maple syrup and I heated it up in the microwave. So I'm gonna pour a little bit of this hot maple syrup on top and look at that. Oh my God, this looks so good. And now I get to take a taste. So I'm gonna cut this piece right here. I mean, I could smell this. It's like so soft. And there's that nice pecan over there. I don't want it because it looks like it's a little hot still. Mm. Oh my gosh. This is so, so creamy. And it has just the right amount of sweetness to it. The nut flavor. I'm telling you, I've been making this for years. It is so good. I want to thank you all for watching today. And I want to let you know that I'm going to leave this recipe in the description box below. Don't forget to check out Anne's uh, recipe. Check out that delicious monkey bread that she's making. I want to wish you all a very happy, blessed, and healthy Easter holiday this year. And whatever you celebrate, uh, be blessed. And we'll see you next time. Serve up some more love. Take care.